This is Myanmar. A vast land, so full of diversity. Where mountains, oceans, capes, and dense cities coexist. A culture that people travel to see. Festival so bright, colorful, and mysterious. The world has never seen. Celebrated by dozens of people, all with the same shared destiny. Rich and poor live on the same streets, painted red with beaten net spit. A country coming out of decades of isolation. When men wear long jeans and women put tree bark on their faces. This is Myanmar. A country with many challenges, it seems. And where lasting peace is stay a dream. Climate change is like a ticking time bomb. Flats come yearly but people don't know how to surf. Technology, as good and new as it may be, might one day leave millions out of work. Many have left in search of greener pastures, better opportunities, and the comforts of modernity. But Alas, we never used to shine away from bold challenges, big dreams, and even the seemingly impossible. So why should we now? COVID-19 way of Myanmar flight from the southern China. It's ordered to shut. This is Myanmar. A place once home to many Asian kingdoms. the youngest population in the region, full of friendly, kind, and hospitable people. Churches, temples, mosques, and synagogues, pagodas ancient, old and new, the cities call out to you. Bullock carts, horses, thongbing, taxi and trishaws you might see, all driven by people so hungry for the progress they want to see. Farming, fishing and factories laying the foundations of tomorrow's industries. Wine, rubies, jade, fish, wood and rice we make. So rest assured, there ain't no lack in resources is how it is shared. Art, sport and culture can flourish, just like the dreams of you and me. We might be later than others, but we will learn from them and walk with them. The future is uncertain, but our citizens are committed to development on our own terms. And to all who say that we will never make it, we say to them, This is Myanmar. This is Myanmar, and together we will be.